Hey guys, today we get to look at Amarket and look at some of the product. So we have Liliana and Gideon as the Planeswalker decks. The interesting thing to note is the Planeswalker, the Planeswalkers and the Planeswalker decks are also in the main set, although the, the cards are different. So we can expect to see a Liliana and a Gideon in the main set as they will be characters in this story arc. So it looks pretty good. And I'm excited for another Liliana. She tends to be very good. And Gideon is always a strong card as well. So those are two of my favorite Planeswalkers. I love seeing them both here. Now, next we will see what the booster box looks like. And we can see some of the artwork. Uh, we see some type of angel, some type of cleric, and a priest. The box looks pretty awesome. Uh, the Anubis on the background. We obviously know Nicobolas has those horns right behind the Anubis. It looks yellow, which is kind of an interesting color. I, I guess it makes sense. It's gold because of the sands. And the, the, they will go with a gold theme. I'm extremely excited for the card on the right. That card looks very strong to me. And we will see what the card actually does. Uh, typically... The angels and dragons, we will get a look at the dragon of the set as well. So next, coming up next after the booster box is, I believe this is the pre-release kit. Uh, and this is the side view of the pre-release kit. As you can see the Gideon in the back, that is promotional material. So it's not actually a real deck. It doesn't really have stats, although that would be pretty crazy if it did. And one thing to note, once we'll go into this Egyptian theme and everything's gold and sandy. Interestingly enough, this stuff is hyping up Amaket and Modern Masters 2017 is getting no hype. I fully believe that these this is released to certain people to make pictures of and post on Reddit to get everyone extremely excited. So we also have the five trials of the god, just like Born of the Gods, Journey to Nyx, and Pharaohs. We have the Trial of, I can't read that, the Trial of Knowledge, the Trial of Strength, the Trial of Ambition, and the Trial of Zeal. So white, black, some type of combination of white, black, blue, red, and green as usual. And this is your pre-release kit. I don't know why we have an Oath of the Gatewatts pack in the, the pre-release kit. It looks like a tomb, which is kind of cool. Uh, definitely, whoever's doing the design on these kits have done a fantastic job uh, doing so. So next, we will take a look at the, I believe this is the toolkit. Uh, the toolkit is always for those beginning players. Uh, this looks like it is at a convention of some type. I don't know what convention it is. Uh, if somebody lets, will leave a comment below and let me know what it is. As you can see that there are feet and it looks like it's Liliana and Elspeth, right? It would be amazing if they had cosplayed it. I'm guessing this was a gaming convention of some type, but we have the tool builder kit, which is very cool. Next, we will look at our big bad dragon and he looks like a crocodile. I assume a lot of these dragons, he looks like a crocodile. Looks like a giant flying crocodile. It's been a while since we had a good crocodile. I feel like Urza's... Destiny had that crocodile I always used to play. It was like a 5-5 five, five, or 4 and then had some type of drawback. So I'm excited to see the new crocodile dragon. It uh, looks pretty epic. The artwork looks fantastic. Uh, and the design of this entire set from what I've seen the, from the promotional material looks incredibly solid. Good, good job on the promotional product design. And of course, we have Art's Enemy with Nico Boles as another product coming out. Uh, it, we will be in a Nicol Bolas theme. As you can see, it is the Gate Watch. It is Gideon, Chandra, and Nissa. Hmm. You know, I, I wonder like if Nicol Bolas has like an evil Gate Watch with Tezzeret and other friends. But anyway, so Nicol Bolas will be a very big baddie that we will face. I don't know if I like to see Nicol Bolas again. I don't actually know exactly what happened to him the last time. I know that he was trying to mess with Jace and Lily and that didn't work out so well. But anyway, Nicol Bolas is the big bad baddie and we see Art's enemy. Art's enemy should be kind of fun. Hopefully the MSRP is not insane. 
And now we look at, I believe this is the bundle pack. Uh, it contains 10. The bundle pack is, you know, it's always nice. I like the boxes. I like the box to collect the boxes. Uh, they do have some type of value. Overall, this is the first look we get. At, so all we know is Liliana, Gideon will have Planeswalker cards in the set. Uh, we also know that there's free artworks that go corresponding to cards in the set, as well as a Crocodile Dragon. So pretty cool. I'm very hyped for the set, and they definitely did a good job promoting it. I, I do wish that they would promote Modern Masters 2017 just a tiny bit, right? Uh, just spoil us a lily of the veil because we already know it's coming. Anyway, let me know which ones that you liked and leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.